Okay, so let's play these videos here. They're not very clear. There we go. Okay. Let's try this. So the headlights showing up behind her, that's Adams. But this is just the same video we're playing. All right. Now, go to the next one. And this one, Adam's passes was round. Yeah. So then seventeen forty eight. I'm on the phone with her or I'm getting ready to anyways. These are my bruises from my neck that I didn't even know I had from the chokehold. And my voice is still good. And this is the other video. It's three minutes long. They won't send because it's too long. I'm putting on my coat, getting ready to go out to meet her. I just got off the phone with her, and I told her I was going to go out to see her about these videos, that uh, USB sticks that I gave her on December 26th, about the uh, man who I suspect is uh, Bro or John Inglis or Dan Dawson or Jelly showing up here with a taser to come and kill me and take my daughter because I'm crazy. So I figured this officer, this female officer, is has some good news for me about these. Um, see how when she goes around the car, she signals Adams. And I get in the vehicle to, only to find out that she misled me to get in there. And my door is open. I didn't shut my door properly. She turns on the red light. She's writing notes and she's telling me that everybody's got videos. And then she begins to talk about Luke and about my daughters. At this point, I realized that she's trying to entrap me. And I asked her to get me out of there um, because I realize now that she's there for ulterior motives. And uh, she's telling me that... Uh, that somebody at the gas station was concerned about my behavior, a third party, that it's not Luke that complained. I told her that Luke and his friends were the, are the ones that try, are trying to kill me and that on December 22nd, on December 22nd when that man came, I thought it was John Inglis, but when I showed up at the gas station, the look on Baro and Luke's face when I saw them and Baro hurrying to get into his vehicle before I took a picture of him with my phone, um, when I realized it could have been him as well involved in this. And I began to yell at them that they were killers and murderers and for attempting to try to kill me on December 22nd. And because Luke lied to me about knowing police officers when he's standing right there talking to one, and he never mentioned this one in his text messages when I asked him expressively who he knew as far as police officers went. Now Lori is, is writing notes, making it appear that she spoke to my daughters and that she's apprehending me under the Mental Health Act because people were concerned, third parties were concerned about me hurting Luke, which is a 
Yeah, unfortunate. Now this video is starting over. I'm just replaying it so you can see how when I start get into the vehicle, she waves to Adams to come and uh, come and get her to come around. After she puts me in the vehicle, she signals to Adams to come forward right here. And she looks back at my uh, video. She's quite happy she's got me in the car at this point because she entrapped me in there under false pretenses with fake evidence. Now, it was 4.41 at 5.30 p.m. Luke Johnson posted on Facebook that he was ice fishing. My daughter said that the police officer... I only spoke to her after I had been at the hospital. And so all of this information she claims to have obtained came from Burrow or Dawson. And if she spoke with Luke, then Luke was the complainant. And she can't say Luke was not the complainant. Therefore, Lalonde is obviously guilty of something else. Why else would she be doing this? Or she's protecting one of her colleagues or her family members. Or she's getting paid a lot of money. And so this is entrapment. Now let's go through the other videos. Just to show. Those are my bruises after she choked me. As you can tell, my voice. Today is the 18th of January. And my vocal cords are still harmed from that assault upon me. Um, where she tried to choke me basically to death. So let's review these videos again. How it started. You see Adam's headlights behind her pulling up. This video is only seven seconds. Here they are. All right, it starts over. The video starts over. See, there they are. All right. It's the same one. Now these are being erased from my device. And so I have to record them with another device because they're remotely accessing my files. Um, and I'm not even connected to the internet when they do it. See the vehicle? <clears throat> There's Adams, uh, 1748, goes around. Waits there, no. We go into my, this is uh, Inglis's address there in the background. All right. And so if we go to my drive, if I go to my Adora cam, Hold on, this one. Right now I'm offline because when I go online, they alter my videos. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go online for a sec. Just get this. Now, if you scroll down. Here are the videos right from my Adora cam. Now let's go watch that. Hold on. I had to change my. All right, let's play it again. Yeah, let's make it bigger. All right, let's put it like this. 